Alright, what up guys? Trevor of the Ice Mask Gang here. And welcome to episode 30 of season 2 of MLB Road to the Show. We're going to go ahead and play three games here. And then we're going to... That's going to be it. So let's go ahead and choose our uniform here. Let's wear alternate one. Okay. 66 and 33 on the year. Less than two miles south of the United States Capitol, welcome to Nationals Park. Two of the best teams in the game square off. It's the Chicago Cubs and the Washington Nationals. First pitch coming your way next. Base is empty with two away. Here's some real power at the plate. the one that one ripped right center field that's back and dinner his latest homer in an incredible season it's 3-1 so on add season. another game to his hitting streak Chris this is remarkable just so exciting game after game he's given us a real thrill and that swing was obviously no exception it's like he's playing wiffle ball up there new yeah, inning getting started three, and now yeah. elias diaz the captain elias pitch and that bunny towards first dylan Bag. And he handles it himself for the out. Well, I'm pretty sure he took a look around the infield. Yeah, now, has got some good opposite yeah, field power. Yeah. I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield. Is it the base runner at second? Has it? That There's ball is back. And hit well. back. Way back there. Back. Caught. Up against the wall and brings it All in. Right. Runner tags at second. Now he decides against it and he. Two on, time. one out. Dansby Swanson digs in now. That one to first, and it finds its way through for a hit. Throw back in, holds the runner at third. Base is now loaded. Only one away. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Stepping in the long ball threat, Trevor Dillon. And there's a rocket into the outfield. And that's going to get into the corner. Two. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. Not in time. It's a double. double. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. 70th well, double. He's really slowed the game down. And it's like he's moving at full speed. And everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. My drive. That's a base hit. The throw in. feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to and come through. Up. It's just a well, This is a big win on the road and going extras in the 10. Uh, so hard to pull those out, but I think this team did a great Perfect job. Clubhouse. Yo, you want to see something cool? No. Well, I'm going to do it anyway. Play next game. Pull me a phone. Okay. everybody glad you're with us two of the best teams in the game square off it's the chicago cubs and the washington nationals first pitch coming at you right after the break one down trevor dillon now at the plate 
Into third base. now. So runners at the corners and one out. <laughs> Two on one out. Jesus Sanchez digging in for the Nationals. Hendricks throws over. And he's back in easily. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Two on one out. That one is absolutely belted. Going three, going three. And it's a one hopper off I'm the score, wall. I'm score. Should be extra bases. Dylan headed for the plate. In the score. Two nothing. First. It's two nothing. Big one there as he drives in a couple of runs. Solid swing from start to end. Good time with everything. Sanchez. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he made it on front for the line drive now. Dinger. Three-one Nationals. Rocket in the left. His second over this series. It's three-one. Wasn't fooled on the first pitch at all. He scored it up. Three on the season. Right-hander kicks deals. Ground ball it's third, in and out of his it. glove. Can I beat it? Can I beat it? Well, the nope. throw to first gets him easily, and that's the first out. Base is empty okay. one away. Up now for Washington, Trevor Dillon. He's already homered here in this one. Hammered, and now maybe extra bases. And he's in the second base with one away as the go-ahead run. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. And that one handled, and he takes it himself for the out. Not a bad outcome in that spot. The runner moves up to third, and now they have a chance to drive in the go-ahead run. It's not a knock, but at the end of the day, it's a good at bat. Here's a 1 1. In the air, right field drifts towards it. That's caught. And that will end the inning. We're walking off, so we won that one. the final game of the episode there should be a pitching game too so yes it's a pitching game pitching the rubber game and welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. Two of the best teams in the game square off. It's the Chicago Cubs and the Washington Nationals. With Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. And we got a rubber match on our hands today, partner. Yeah, the final game of a three-game set. They've split the first two. And regardless of how important the series is within the larger picture of the season, it's a game you want to get up for. Every series win feels good. So we should see a fun matchup in this one. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Almost ready to get underway. And on the mound now, Trevor Dillon. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure 
he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring yeah, position. Yeah, Most guys, the they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some yeah, reason, he gets ball. looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know, tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. Had a good eye there. Okay. Over the plate. Foul ball there. He might get up with the slider here. The pitch. Foul Fouls off. one off. Two and two. Go fastball high and tight. Got, Got him. Do it right past him. Came inside with that two strike First fastball strike nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around yeah, on it and catch it out here. front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got it, this one swung on and hit well. Way back there. And that is gone. He flexes his power with that swing. It's one nothing. Yandy Diaz now. Too much swing and miss in his at bats recently, striking out nearly twice in each of the last five games. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. And ball one. Here's a player known for playing better in day games, which is not always the case. I mean, day games are different, nope. Boo. Things change from game times to your daily routine. But he sure makes the transition look easy. Now, fastball, high and tight. And Got him. Swing and a miss. And there's two away. Well, he's got great strikeouts down on the mound, doesn't he? I mean, double-digit strikeouts in his last start, and he's just racking them up again in this one. This guy can really dominate a game out there. Not a fun assignment for any lineup. And a pitch. The shortstop takes a ball. One run across in the frame so far, and we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Next offering is in the dirt. Fastball. Looked like right. it was a little bit up. They've got him working a little harder in this first frame than he anticipated. And that's in there at the knees for a strike. First slider back door. Strike got three. Him. Throws him at the front door slider. So they pick up a run of the solo shot and take the lead. On to the bottom of the first. It's the Cubs one. And it's second with one away. Trevor Dillon digs in now. He set a new career high in home runs this year. And Siggy, he's just trying to set the bar as high as possible now. Here's a swing. How about the lead? And he knew it. 2 1 Nationals. Just smack that one out of here. A gigantic blast. And they jump out front. It's 2 1. So add another game to his hitting streak. Chris, this is remarkable. Just so exciting. Game after game, he's given us a real thrill. And that swing was obviously good. And we're back. Top of the second. And up to the plate comes Cody Bellinger. That one down the line. And that's just foul. Dylan, a 6'2 righty, just 19 years old. And he's a former rookie of the year. The other side. Here's the 0 2. 0 2 curve right there. Yeah, Hitter ball. kind of expects that. And good job of just showing that confidence and trying to get back Struck in the out. Goes down looking. Four strike out. And now Jack Peterson just missed. The Cubs trailing by a run here in the rubber match of this three game series. Got lucky with that call. Next offering is in for a strike. Screw ball to like him chasing. He fouled it off. Okay. Get fastball high and tight. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. Well, when you commit to throwing an inside fastball to your glove side across the strike zone, especially with two strikes, if you're going to miss, you want to miss off the plate in. You do not want to leave it out over the heart of the plate. So that was excellent fastball. execution on that pitch. Really tied him up, and he couldn't get a piece at all. When you get ahead in the count, there's no doubt that the success rate goes up. And that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. 
He's been swinging it really well lately. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted right, your hands, right, you let up. the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. So back to Diaz off of first with two away. Line drive, and know. that's a base hit. Okay. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Got some traffic. Two on now with two away. So two down, Matt Shaw, the next Cub to hit. Outside corner, there's a strike. First and second, two down. Here at the top of the second. Ground ball to the right side. Got out of it. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. So they strand a pair. We go to the bottom of inning number two. Back here in Nationals Park. New inning getting started. Here's Nico Warner. The pitch. Then that drops in for a strike. Fastball. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Slider. 0 oh 2 now. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Change up. Here comes a pitch. Good eye in that spot. Tough to take a two strike change up. Did just right. missed. Right. They get froze up. Swing and a I got ball. Popped up. Got it. Gets under it. But it's the pitcher that makes the play. And there's one down. Ian Happ up to hit. The left fielder, number eight. That Ian clips Ian. the inside corner for a strike. Cubs made Ian Happ a first round pick in 2015. He played at the University of Cincinnati as an infielder. Pass Did a little bit of outfield, but a guy in front of this time. What a year, Chris. Both an all star and a gold glover. Quick three pitch strike out. Look at the sequence. The plan was no, clearly yeah, working no. inside. Didn't want to let no, him get no, his no. arms extended, make him a little bit uncomfortable in there, and he ended up overmatching him in the process. That's one you have to take note of as a hitter for next time you come to the plate. Swings and misses. Gonna count one and two. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And got work there as he gets a one, two, three. Nothing happening there for the Cubs. And they trail it here, 2-1. to one. Back in Washington, D.C., Dansby Swanson stands in. First pitch doesn't find the zone. You know, these Cubs do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient bats out of him. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there. And that might be the best news yet for this offense. In the air to left center. Makes his way towards it. Can't ah, get there. Communication. Base communication. Well, his hot hitting continues. He's been getting great results lately. That ball right there landed in what they call the no man's land, meaning it's not really a spot on the field where you can expect anyone to get to it easily. I mean, it's a tug. Now, this ball is well hit. This one's got a chance. Pours it in on the warning okay. track. It's a really good swing. He just didn't get quite enough of it to beat the wind. It's blowing in from right field right now. That one fouled off. The Nets leading by a run. Top half of inning number four. The throw. And he's gone down. Well, I really didn't expect him to try to steal second base because he had a very standard lead at best. If you're going to try to get there safely, you've got to get more on that lead. You've got to get a better jump. That was the difference between being safe and out. Now I just float right past him and get the out. Just nope. off the inside edge. See if I can get him chased on the screwball. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. No runs, one hit, no errors. And welcome back Taking to the ballpark. Now it's the DH, Trevor, Trevor Dillon. Tie up. Back to Dillon. work. Crushed. Left center field. This one's deep. How about three and one? Deep center. Goodbye. Another homer. His second home. Swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive, and it paid off. Power versus power right there. Like and we're back. And now the catcher comes up to him. Elias Diaz. 
takes a strike. These two offenses can put up runs in a hurry. Next offering in there for a strike. Oh, a two down. Slider now. And there's a ball. Fifth inning. Fastball. Got, Got him. Swinging. He's on a great run of nice strikeouts strike out. and showing excellent control and command, not walking opposing batters. You know, this well, offense, they've got to find a way to break his rhythm. Throw the bat on the ball. Now. Maybe try to bunt for a base hit, get him off the mound, moving around, step out, something to interrupt his timing because he's coming right after these guys. Caught him looking for the K. Pretty electric stuff showing up on the mound and right now. Out. I mean, okay. in the double digit strikeouts. Okay. He should be able to rack up some more before he's done. And this one, and, you know, not many of these hitters have had much of an answer for what he's offering out there. Shaw in the box now. No balls and a strike. Well, on the mound, very Slider efficient. Able to chase. produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth Ground pitch of third. just about every at bat. Now a jump third throw. Third. And the Cubs go one, two, three. So they go quietly. The bat, the Dylan, a former All-Star, just 19 years old, and he was a 10th round pick in 2023. That ball's deep in the center. Bellinger drop step going back. Gone. Get out of town. Four one. And he's gone yard again. That's his third home run of the game, and they tack on to their lead. It's four one. Singing the ball is jumping off his mat. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. Back here in Nationals Park. All set for the start of the inning. Now it's the second baseman, Nico Horner. And that's downstairs and outside. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. Fastball. Struck it out. Strikes. One away. That was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be Down ready to short. pull the trigger. Drops it. And he can't Flip come up with it. Safe. Okay. Okay. Six. And next for the Cubs, Yandy Diaz. Just missed. Now this team is definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. The Nationals leading by three. And we're the top half of the sixth. Like being chasing on the curveball. Nope. Pitch misses. Full count now. Getting over the plate here. He goes down looking. Throws him. Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after this one. That was his third strikeout. And this one looking, obviously. So he's been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive up there at the plate. There's a strike. And a bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea. Got him. Still on strikes he goes. And that will end the inning. So no runs on no hits. One error and a runner left. We go to the bottom half of inning number six. And the five, six, seven slots do up. Top of inning number seven. So up now for Chicago. Cody Bellinger. And a foul ball. Change up. Left hand hitter waits. Missed with a change up. One and one. Fastball. And that one a little bit high. Change up. And a pitch. Got Swing it. and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. And Jack Peterson stands in. Clobber to right field, way back, gone. Mistake pitch, and they took advantage, and score two. A massive home run, and they close the gap. It's 4-2. That one just sounded different. And yeah, might have been the loudest moment yet. Man, Change my ears up. are ringing. I can feel that swing from the boot. Basketball. Diaz at the play for the third time as he comes up empty there. Not a Light guess. drive, base hit. 
So a man aboard now with one away. Another multi-hit game for him. He's been really hot lately. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. Yeah, that's a little high. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back in this game. Base number 95, so strike out. That's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. With the tying run at the plate, here in the top half of inning number seven. That misses, and the count is one and two. In the air, left field. Sanchez gets under it Four, two, and makes the seven. play, and that's out number three. Welcome back, and a new arm of the mound to start the inning. And here's the DH for Washington. Trevor Dillon, three for three, and he's homered three times. And here he comes. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. And it's a one-hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. Fires the second too late. And he's got a double. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he's squared up that baseball tells me that he has seen it like a beach ball. Popped up. Shaw in position. One away. One down. One out, runner at second. And now it's Kiebert Ruiz. That's hard hit on the line. Half makes the catch. Darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it. Throw behind the runner, and they've got him doubled off. One hit in the... I'd say this team really needed to win this game today. That's win and number 20. To win the series, which is great. But when you go on the road in the next series, going into some hostile territory, you want to have a lot of confidence. Let's see here, calendar. Next time we'll play four games against Miami. But until then, let's go ahead and save. And until next time, stay frosty. Ice Mask Gang out.